morning everybody RV living with the geezer and uh, I'm in Springtown Texas which is on uh, the main drag through here is 199 Texas 199 we're fixing to get on it right now and as you can see turn these up a little bit so you can see that it's still raining up here I think I think it's rained every day for the last month. But, uh, anyway, it was, looks like the clouds are breaking this morning. But uh, let's see how bumpy this one is. This, this, they got a lot of road work to do up here in these in North Texas. I tell you, these roads are even for state highways. They're bumpy. I'm just going to cruise along here. We're doing 30 miles an hour. I'll just let everybody pass me. Let's see. Speed these up a little bit more. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, Springtown's got a couple thousand people. I, they got a Brookshire Brothers grocery store. That's what I just came out of. I like that place better than the Lowe's and Boyd. Right here where this construction is, this is Highway 51 we're crossing. And they're putting a bridge in over here on the right, uh, across this creek. And they've been working on this bridge. I'm not kidding you. They've been trying to put a small bridge in for four years now. Four years. They've had that road shut down, so you have to detour all the way around town. I guess this is a geezer rant this morning. But the people that should be ranting... Or the poor people, there's a lot of businesses on that main, that's just another main drag going the other way. There's a lot of businesses that they don't get any through traffic anymore stopping. And I mean for four years. All right, enough said about that. But, uh, like I said, it's only got a couple thousand people here in Springtown. So uh, there's, we're fixing to come out of town on the west side already. Uh, there's a little Taco Time grill in that gas station there. It's a chain up here. They're, they're pretty good. It's, it's like that one I showed you all the other day in, uh, in Boyd. So, yeah, I came out of the grocery store and it was raining again. I thought, well, I'm not going to do a video. And then I thought, well, if you don't, you may never do another video because it, just, it may not stop. Of course, later on we'll be... Texas will be wanting rain. But, uh, I'm fixing to head on out of here next month. My son's taking his RV out to West Texas. And we're going to travel together, take mine out there, and they're going to stay a week and uh, up in Fort Davis. And I've got a slot up there by the month, so I'm I'm staying. So uh, there'll be a lot. There'll be a lot less rain up there, that's for sure. They they only average about 16 inches a year up in this. You know, it's high high desert in Fort Davis. So, anyway, here's this, one of the schools over here on the right. But that was Springtown, guys. Yeah, it's rain let up a little bit. A little bit. Let's cut these down a little bit. But, uh, oh, I watched a real good video this morning. Uh... Jamie Macon put out a video. She rode this. She lives up in Pennsylvania, and she's really into trains. So she got her a ticket and rode this uh, train through the oh the countryside up there. It's beautiful. But she was all in one of those uh, observation uh, like open air cars, and it's like a vintage train. I uh, won't tell you the whole story, but uh, I'll. If I can remember how to do it, I'll leave a link to her channel. It's uh, Jamie Macon is her name. And, uh, she's a she's one of our community here. She's a, a nice gal. So I like I say, if Geezer can get enough technology, then uh, we'll uh, leave a link and make sure I make all my stops. I get to talking on this thing, you know, and. It, it, these foam holders are good, but it still takes away the the uh, concentration factor you need to drive when you're concentrating on what you're going to say, you know. 
and uh, you should be thinking about driving the vehicle. So that's sort of a negative part. And I'm sure you're bouncing all over the place again. Uh, Adventuring Art offered me a phone holder. I think it uh, sticks on the windshield, but I couldn't get my old one to stick. But uh, I'm going to get over there and take him up on it, and that's going to be my last shot on phone holders. If, uh, if that doesn't work, then uh, I'm, I'm going to just... Old Dennis, boondocking with Dennis, he, he holds his phone, and man, his videos are perfect. I, I, I got an Android uh, Galaxy 7 or something. It's old, and it I don't think it stabilizes any images at all. That's why you all are shaking your heads up vertically right now while you're trying to watch this dumb video geezer got going. But, uh, yeah, see, we, we just made a big loop all the way around town. Now we're th this intersection we're coming up on is the Highway 51, the one that shut down all the way through Springtown. For uh, you can go go down there and go to a business, but they don't. You, you'd have to know it was there. No through traffic. So anyway, what a deal. All right, guys. Yeah, let's see. Anything else? Let's talk about the. Yeah, I'm about ready to head out back. Get back out to West Texas. I'm going to start it out in Fort Davis by the month, and uh, then I might move down to Alpine. Uh, that's where all, most of my buddies are in Alpine, out there where I lived. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back. I, like, I love the climate out there. But, uh, here we go. All right, guys. Old Blanca's in the back seat. She's about ready to get out. She thought we were going on our walk, but I guess not this morning. Be talking at you later. Anything you want me to show you around North Texas up here, just put it in the comments. If it's if it's within 50 miles, I'll probably do it. Talk at you later. Adios. Bye bye.